In this situation, we have some panicked people running toward a door to escape a fire. The speed of each individual is 3.5 meters per second, the depth of each person, d, is 0.25 meters, and the distance between each person is 1.75 meters. Part A asks us to find out the average rate at which the layer of people at the door increases, uh, assuming that no one travels through the door within this time. First off, we know that any time a person reaches the door, they're adding their depth to the length of the layer of people at the door. One person will reach the door, add their depth d, 0.25 meters, to the pile, and after some time, another person will have approached to add their depth to the pile. Simply put, the speed at which the layer of people at the door will increase should be effectively the same as the rate at which each new person is added to the pile. We can compute this by using a formula similar to the formula for average speed. Uh, the rate, r, will be equal to the depth, d, that is added, divided by the amount of time, delta t, that it takes for each new person to arrive at the door. We're not actually told by the problem how long it takes for each person to make it to the door, but if you've done enough of these average velocity problems, then you should know by now that an amount of time of motion is equal to uh, the displacement over speed. In this case, the displacement in question is L, which is the length between each person that the next individual will have to traverse to reach the door, and the speed is v sub s, the individual speed of each person. Uh, let's rewrite this new formula in a slightly similar way, uh, which will bring the v sub s in the denominator. And now we'll plug in values. Plugging in the depth of each person, uh, the speed of each person, 3.5 meters per second, and the length between each person, and we find a rate of 0 0.50 meters per second. In part b, we need to find how long it takes for the layer's depth to reach 5 meters. As I mentioned earlier, the amount of time it takes for a motion, or for a change in position, or for a change in length or depth, etc., is equal to that change in position or depth, in this case, uh, 5 meters, divided by the rate at which the motion is taking place, which in this case is the rate we calculated in part A, which is 0 0.5 meters per second. Uh, computing this expression gives us an amount of time of 10 seconds. This result actually reveals how dangerous situations like these can be. In just 10 seconds, around 5 meters of people can build up, potentially holding people back and slowing down people's movements. There have actually been many scientific research papers written on crowd movements and pedestrian flow, and how the movement of many people in a group can actually be seen as a form of granular flow or fluid flow. This can result in actually even more people being put in danger due to people being suffocated by the density of the people around them, or people falling over and being trampled by others. The general consensus of those studies has been that if people were to move in a more slow and calm manner, then people would actually be able to move and escape in a far quicker manner, because the risk of jamming and people having to stop for others has been significantly reduced.